The first public hybrid school in Texas is now in its second year in Dallas. You heard that right. We first told you about this before it opened up last year. And as you can see, the school uses a video game style platform to teach their students on the three days that they actually attend class online. Yep. The innovation doesn't really end there. Andrea Lucia tonight to give you and all of us a look inside this Dallas ISD campus to see how it's kind of upending traditional education. Remember, complete your do list. At Dallas Hybrid Prep, students are never asked to sit still. It's like I'm very fidgety. Here, kids are encouraged to wiggle, relax, or work out as they see fit. I mean, they don't have to be here in my class all the time. It's always closest to three. three so. Natalia Rodriguez Perez says all that freedom can come as a shock to visitors. First of all, they're surprised that our students are moving around the building. Students here have enormous flexibility. Once they get an assignment, they're free to roam the campus and pick where they want to sit. That could be on an exercise bike or even inside an inflatable. Are you ready? We are ready. They spend just two days a week on campus, so how they manage their time is mostly up to them, too. You will see them walking around. They're doing their work just like adults, like little adults, right? Dr. Olga Romero is the principal of this school where the students decide how they work best. Why is it not chaotic? Because we have really high expectations. And when you give choice to the kids, they will do the right thing. You just need to guide them and provide them the tools and the skills to be able to be independent. With ceiling to floor windows where you'd expect to find walls, the school can look and feel like a modern day office. And its students like a modern day workforce. So you're more empowered here? Yes, As they, fe they treat us like we're normal people and not kids. They trust us more. They don't act like you're a child, you don't know anything. There's a recording studio where students can make their own podcasts and a coding club where Angel is learning web development. So this improved reaction speed? Felix Reda is involved in the school's eSports. And A, B and A. B and A, B and A. Two different attacks. Gameplay, he says, builds reaction speed, coordination, and thinking skills. Games are not all bad. Also, some of them involve strategy. Phone, get that, get that phone. Oh, wait, are you and I on the same team? No. Oh, we're, oh, we're not. Okay. Not oh. everyone, it turns out, can keep up. Okay, we'll restart. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. So you need to say, good job, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Students are learning, but they're having fun. Rodriguez Perez says she's having fun too, experimenting with ways to bring math to life, whether the kids are here in person or remote. Okay, please go in your house, try to find a box, measure the box, tell me the, vo the volume, and record yourself explaining this, uh, how do you solve this problem. Tell me the numbers. That I the result, she says, is happier, more motivated students, eager to learn and ready for responsibility. Here they feel important, they feel valued. So, I mean, giving this power to the kids, I think that is, is the magic. Oh, I'm seeing her of correct answers. Very good. And Dallas, Andrea Lucia, <laughs> CBS 11 News. <laughs> that's, that's